Hey everybody, B-Rod here. We're back with more Stigmatized Property. Last time, we got the good ending. This time, we're gonna try to get the bad ending. Let's give it a shot. So, did the options revert? Oh, the head pop got turned off. I didn't do that, did I? Hmm. Okay. So I think I kept my controls. I do. I'm not going to reread everything. I'll, I'll reread the notes, I guess. Alright, no, there was nothing back here. Okay, so. Before I start looking around, I'll get to the... Oh, yen. Yes, please. I hope this is the right way. I guess I'll just read it, in case you're not looking at the screen or something's going on. I'll bail you out. Poor thing. It's a dead cat. Alright, there's a shrine back there. Check that out in a minute. So that's where the smell was coming from. It's a fish. He told me to be in apartment room 104. Okay. Isn't this his mother's car? You tell me. Alright, it's a dead end. Hmm. There's another shrine. So, what I'm gonna try to do this time is I am going to interact with them. But I'm going to choose not to pray. I guess you can just ignore them then, because you can still interact with it. Okay. I guess I can just ignore them. Alright, the door is closed. Hmm, so I was right. That door was closed. Nothing back here. Alright. Let's go upstairs. Hello. There really is no one. I can't just wait outside. I need to get in. Didn't he say there's a spare key somewhere? I forget where though. Perhaps I can enter from here. Right? But you don't seem to want to, so. Oh, I remember now. It should be under a lemon tree pot. Yeah, that's right. Big brain genius over here. Alright, now, if you didn't see the first one, here's a little thing that I, people seem to miss, or I imagine easy to miss, but I thought was really cool. We took our shoes off. And... And we put him back on. I mean, it's just polite. Okay, can't go in any, either one of those. You know, let's let's just close that. Hmm. What's this? Hmm. I think I see something stuck inside the hole. I spent a while last time thinking you would just grab it, but you can't. Wow, this room looks really good for an apartment. 
Santos. <gasps> I'm a vampire. I already made that joke in the first video. And then I beat it to death. あれ、このノート破れてるけどどうしたんだろう。探したら見つかるかな。Strange. The last seven pages are torn. Hmm. What does that mean? Whatever can we do? I am a vampire. Last time, I made myself laugh hysterically. By saying sucker. Mostly because I didn't really mean to or plan to, it just kind of happened. But this time. Mm, I wish I could remember a line from Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, Keanu Reeves was in that. And I would love to do a Keanu Dracula line. Alright, I lost it in the middle there. Paper's wet. I need to find a way to dry it. He doesn't have a dryer. He has a hair dryer. You use that for your clothes too? Probably hangs his clothes. I was just kidding. All right, we got our first note. Making progress. April fourth, day one. Moving is over at last, and today marks the first day living alone, and also the first day writing a journal. I really look forward to the experience. I've always dreamed of it. What writing a journal? <sighs> Gotta dream bigger, bro. Uh, I decided to move here because the rent is very cheap. I honestly can't believe that a broke student like me can afford such a nice room. Plus, it's really close to my school. How amazing is that? And you really lucked out. It's a little too convenient. <laughs> I ate out with my parents today to celebrate... Sorry. Uh, I thought that said I ate out my parents today. <laughs> yeah. no, never mind. Uh, to celebrate the move and they were both laughing and just having a great time. Living alone is great and all, but man, I'm going to miss those faces. They told me that they're going to be here for only a couple of days. They kept telling me how worried they are, but they're just overthinking. They don't have to worry about a thing. I'm going to do just fine. Yeah, man, that's why we're here. Because you're fine. Alright. I'm going to use this hook on this hole. Instead of wandering around the property wondering what I use a hook on. We got a piece of pepper, a piece of pepper, a piece of papier. Day two, April 5th. Today, I took the whole day just setting everything up in the room. What used to be a room with small luggage and a simple bed now became a room with a bunch of furniture and a whopping queen size bed. The previous tenant left everything, and the owner was too lazy to get rid of them. Now, this, is, this still confuses me. Confused me last time, still confuses me. The room was just small luggage and a simple bed. You turned it into this nice place with furniture and a queen size bed. Okay, no. He's saying that the small luggage and simple bed were left behind. He got rid of them. See, last time I was thinking the stuff in it now he set up but was owned by the previous tenant. Okay, never mind. I just... It's just a... I was reading that in a different tone, I guess. That makes way more sense. Anyway, moving on. Dad seemed to like this house so badly, he said he'd like to stay a little longer. But as much as I appreciate their company, I'd like to live life already. The owner came to say hello today. He looked like he could use a little sleep, though. What was wrong with him? He shook my hand with a big smile on his face, told me how grateful he was for someone to finally rent the room, but... How he stopped smiling right when he let my hand go? That was way too weird. Anyways, the new semester starts tomorrow. Gotta get ready. Alright, bruh. Don't bra me, bruh. Okay, I can't get in there. Alright. <gasps> the bird's here already. 
Hello, bird. All right, last time I gave him a fish. This time, I'm gonna try to see if I can give him something else. Such as... the cat. I'm just gonna do this so you can see it. All right. Spying on my neighbor. All seems quiet and normal. Totally fine. So I think I got the good ending mainly because I prayed at all four shrines. And I say all four because there must be just four. What you doing, bro? Can I come in? No? Hello? Are you okay? Why is he just standing there? Door unlocked. I got you now! Oh. He disappeared. Well, that's just rude. Apartment memo. This apartment cannot be demolished. I tried to call a contractor trying to destroy it, but for some reason the phone line stops working. My mother suddenly became ill. I hope it isn't related. The local priest will not come. I tried asking other people to ask the priest, and the priest got into an accident and died. Talismans are useless. I bought a box of talismans, stuck them on my walls, everywhere on my walls, but they were all burned the next day. Whenever I put a talisman on a wall, the word curse continues to appear in my head. The apartment does not catch fire. The building repels fire, which means you tried to light it on fire and didn't work. The apartment must continue to sell. A resident will be chosen every month, the chosen one will be possessed in a week, and after the possession, the person completely disappears from this world, and no one remembers a thing about the person. I keep having nightmares, and a strange voice keeps telling me to bring human. I can't sell the apartment. I can't let them hurt my family. Someone, please help me. Ruh -ruh. That sounds like Kribble. All quiet on that front. Alright. Let's go use this stool. And then I'm going to go down and grab that piece of paper. Because we're speed running. And... Grab this, I'll go put it in the journal, then I'll have a much shorter trip to go use the stool than if I had to come back down to grab the stool. Day 3, April 6th. Today was the first day of the semester. It's good to see my boys again. They wanted to come to see my new apartment, but I don't know. They better not F anything up. Mashima Sensei is my homeroom teacher. I wonder what kind of teacher she is. I hope she's not mean like the previous one. That guy was an asshole. Another weird thing happened today. When I got out of the room this morning, some middle-aged ladies across the street gathered and talked bad about this apartment. Women of that age like to gossip a lot. It's probably whatever. Yeah, probably. Totally. I'm sure it's totally fine. Um, Papier and another mirror. Unlock it. Thank you. So, yeah, last time when I found four shrines, and when I prayed at the fourth one, I got text saying that the character felt warmer, felt like safer. So I think that's the major thing that I need to avoid doing to get a different ending. Day four, April seventh. I said hello to my fellow neighbors today. That's a polite thing to do, right? Always be nice to your neighbors, right, Mom? But you know what, Ma? I don't think that works here, because I just got the cold shoulder from him. When I said good morning to the neighbor on the right, he just stared at me with his big eyes and without a word from his mouth, he just shut the door on me. Even now, his big cat-like eyes won't leave my head. I shouldn't be too rude. 
I'll probably give it another go some other time. Anyways, today I saw a girl who looked just like the girl in Sh Shibaki Bara 89 in my class. Her name's Mira, and I'd like to get to know her. From what I heard, she's single and ready to mingle. How lucky. I'm excited for tomorrow. Okay, bro. Calm down. Take a cold shower or something. So, I'm not gonna pray at the shrines. I'm also not even gonna go look at them. Ooh. What's, what? Oh, yeah. 50 yen. Oh, that was useful. Okay. Let's feed the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Sorry. So the shrine, there's one down here. There's one back behind this building, if you follow this. I don't think there was any money or anything else I needed. There was a shrine, yeah. Which I'm not gonna use. No. I wonder if there's a third ending where you've pray at some of the shrines, but not all of them. I doubt it. It's probably all or nothing. Mmm. Spooky. Yes. Whispering. monsters. Apparently they did not like my dead cat offering. Hey neighbor. What are you doing? You want a dead cat? Here. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I didn't kill it. Or maybe you wanted me to. Because you tipped me. You're weird. Also... I didn't notice that before, but that's a noose. That's rope, and there's the end of the rope with the noose. Mmm, that's not good. That's never good. Mm, I don't like that at all. Please, no. Will you take this as an offering instead of the fish? Oh, we did! And then I got an achievement. I can't read what the achievement says, but... Because I missed it. Wait a minute. That's different. Last time the mirror moved to the center of the room. Day 5, April 8th. Mom came over to my room again. Ugh, I told her she doesn't have to come anymore. I think she had a fight with Dad again. Her passive-aggressive attitude got to me, so I asked her how Dad is doing. She refused to talk about it, instead just sat there quietly. I've never seen her like this before. She would usually put a fake smile on her face after a fight. I would notice that. I just wasn't like that this time. An hour or so later, she regained her usual positivity when she asked me if I could invite my old-time friend Sayaka. She had the biggest smile when I agreed to it. Mom must be worried for me to live alone still. I only have Mirror Chain in my mind right now, though. Hmm. But that smile... Her eyes weren't smiling. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure we're Sayaka, who got invited over after mom said we should invite uh they should invite Sayaka over. Okay, so this is bleeding now. Great. Oh, I got ten yen. But last time when the blood thing happened the mirror moved. Something's different. Also 
I can see some kind of light at the bottom of the doorway. That's different. It looks like... Uh, is that a body? In the bottom left? Oh my god. That's... That's different, too. It was red and spooky before, but... Hmm... I wonder if it's too late to pray at the shrines to get a good ending at this point. Or if... Um... Sorry, I had footsteps that creeped me out. Um... I wonder if you can still pray at the shrines to get a good ending. And I'm also curious if the mirror moving is a sign of the good ending, actually. Well, it seems spooky the mirror moved. Maybe that's some kind of superstitious thing, having the mirror face the door, the front door, that, like, helps stop spirits. I don't know. Because it didn't happen this time. And we are definitely doing the wrong thing, I think. Alright, so we found a note in Mom's car. Why was her key in that dead end alley? Well, it's a dead end for us. It's not actually a dead end. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. The mirror moved. That's weird. It still did it differently this time. Why does it look like the door is closed? Maybe I should just close the door. Hmm. Day 6. April 9th. I was able to talk to Mira-chan today. What a great day. Except for one thing. Mom was gone when I woke up this morning. Her car was still parked here, and it's odd for her to leave without notice, but... I hope Dad picked her up or something, because the car is still here. I invited Sayaka today, and she said she'd come tomorrow. I hope this makes her happy again. So I think we're Sayaka, not Mira-chan. And this is probably either April 8th or 9th. It's either day 7, the night. The same night he would have written the last note earlier in the day, maybe? Or it's the day after, I'm assuming? It can't be too long, because that other note said people forget about the tenants after they disappear. Oh, wait. The chair is on the table. I didn't even notice that before. Oh, man. And every all the food's gone. You ate all the donuts? There were so many donuts in here. Oh, what a dick being spooky is enough man you don't have to be an asshole I'm just gonna eat those donuts once I real you know prove that uh, homeboy ain't coming back wouldn't be mad about some donuts being gone rude ghost beat me to the punch hmm what else do we need we need 10 more yen I didn't notice that last time. So is that that's supposed to signify that this is open? Last time I just walked up to try to open it because this creep, but I thought I saw money. Uh, and uh, it is open. You don't have to interact. Watch. Still makes me wildly uncomfortable when it does that. It's just creep me out way more the first time, obviously. It's very effective. Well done. Alright, we have our 100 yen. Now, if you interact with one of the vending machines prior to getting the money, um, you'll learn why you have to get the money. Hmm, that's odd. I see a crumpled paper in one of the slots. It says it costs 100 yen. I need to find some change. Already did it. So the paper already came out. Okay. Don't be rude. 
Alright, this is the last note. There is no escape. I can't read the rest. Yeah, no, you sh should have come to this realization a while ago. I'll call him later. I need to get home. Yeah, we need to leave. Like, now. That's different. The heck? Okay, it's not that. How do we get out of here? Can I leave? Maybe I can crawl out the window. Crawl out the window! Go! You got this? Can I jump? I just didn't realize it. Hmm. Am I stuck here? Expecting something. Oh, jeez. Not that. Oh, God. I think the loudness really is what got me there. Shit. Whew. That was pretty good. A little bit jump scary, but you know, if it works, it works, man. Uh, jump scares aren't inherently bad. They're just often misused. That's all. That one was good. Uh, that got me because it starts you with the like, oh, ghosts, and then I'll more ghosts and a really loud noise I kinda thought like oh that's that's it that's the creepy part right there I didn't expect more uh, after you started to turn around um so that must have been the tenant his mom and what maybe Mira-chan or Sayuka and then ghosts inside were older tenants or the curse spirit themselves I don't know I think that's all of it though um, I think now we got both endings that was pretty cool I mean for a buck 99 you can't beat that that uh, or 299 sorry you can't beat that like that's that's impressive and uh, let me just check something real quick did I get all of the achievements? I did. So there's possessed, get the bad ending. Saved, get the good ending. Stairway to heaven, give a dead cat to the crow. Pescatarian, give a dead fish to the crow. And lucky girl, find all the coins. You have to find all the coins to finish the game, don't you? Hmm. But yeah. That was really good. I mean, well worth three bucks. Uh, replay value with two different endings. Um, short enough to be, you know, easy to replay and worth replaying. Interesting. Uh, it was different. Uh, the spooks were spaced out. And it was more about building up atmosphere and making you feel uncomfortable. And everybody's a little off around here. And it was just well done. I, I really liked it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. We're, this is everything we can show with this game. Now we're done. Um, we did it. We, we got all the content on this one. So 
Let me know what you thought of stigmatized property. And if you know anything like this you want to recommend, let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, appreciate it if, you're, uh, if you could like the video. Uh, regardless what you do, when you do it, I'd also appreciate subscribing to the channel. Only helps, can't hurt. And uh, thanks for coming. I had a good time with this one, so till next time, I will see you in the next video.